I'll give you a, I'll give you the green to uh, pause and hold my mic for a second. Here we have the doorway, <laughs> followed by the entry, followed by the dining room. Over here is the office. Oh, the office, yes. Followed by the kids' bedroom. Second kids' bedroom. <laughs> the master suite and the guest bedroom. Very good. All contained in this neat nine square meter <laughs> cabin. And the singular PowerPoint behind the curtain. Well, it's that time of morning again. Time to get back on the bikes. That sounds too enthused. <laughs> I'm hungry, that's why. We're gonna, see, we're gonna go find something to eat for breakfast first. Stock up on some food for lunch. Then we got about 100 kilometers to ride. She got a pretty good night's sleep in that little cabin last night. The five pints of beer probably <laughs> helped. Wow, I think I lost the drone. We're just getting there. Shot of us riding across the bridge and the drone decided to just take off in the opposite direction by itself. Tried to return home and it um, buggered off. No idea where it is. I'm just walking along in this sort of rough direction where the drone was going. Not seeing any signs yet though. On the plus side, I don't have to worry about snakes. Could be anywhere, it could be stuck up in a tree. Could have dropped into the buddy river. Could have landed out on the sandbar. I really do not know, it just took off. The worst part is, not only have I lost the drone, I've lost all the footage that I've taken with it. It's all on the SD card in the drone. Really should have swapped SD cards or backed it up or something. Bloody spewing. No luck. I did get to the big tree, but who knows, could be stuck halfway up, but it's a big tree. <sighs> well, I think that's it. I think it's officially gone. Along with all the footage. That's the worst part. Hi. How are you going? <laughs> we just smashed a packet of Tim Tams <laughs> and some Clippos, which is a whole packet of Tim Tams. Quick 600 calories each. And <laughs> now we'll keep moseying along. And away we go. We're about halfway up Mount Hercules. Bit of a tough one. <laughs> It's freezing cold, I'm soaking wet, so we're gonna get a room, change clothes into something dry, and then go to the pub, <laughs> as per usual. What do we need a flash? It's about nine o'clock, trying to, <laughs> trying to get up some motivation to actually ride. I'll show you what it's like outside. <laughs> it's not really inviting. See, this is what we have to look forward to all day. Not happy, Jan. What do you reckon? Looking forward to it? Stoked? Yeah, it's not the nicest day, I'd say. <laughs> yes, it's still raining. Yes, it's still cold. Uh, nah, we're gonna shorten the day a bit, ride about 60 kilometers up to Pine Grove Motel, just to get a, another dry place to sleep so we don't have to set up camp in the rain. Yeah, it's a bloody good day for riding. Can't even notice it's raining. <laughs> oh man, this is shit and miserable. This is so bad. Freezing cold, rain jackets do nothing. 
And this is summer in NZ. Just in case you're wondering, it is actually summer. We definitely questioned it sometimes. All you can do is laugh, I suppose. Well, we just climbed our first mountain for today. Paul's coming up behind. Throw with the chorley. Having fun yet? I think the downhills might be worse than the uphills. It's really quite raining. Very hard to see. And uh, just a bit wary of the corners. Don't want to slip out. Again. <laughs> Check out the river. It's like blood water, brown, sludgy. It's horrible. Alright, this rain's starting to get really heavy now. Oh. I reckon. I think it might be raining. Yeah, it could be worse. It could start raining. Yeah, yeah. Lovely day. The waters are flowing. We made it. We made it to Pine Grove Motel. Approximately 60 k's in the pouring rain. Actually, all in all, wasn't that bad. Knowing that we can actually dry off makes it a whole lot better. Home sweet home for the night. Shotgun double. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Two gloves. And a bag. No wonder you're slow, you're carrying in four <laughs> litres of water. I look like I'm about 80 years old. Check that out. Look at it. Alright, day 11 of the ride. Just leaving Pine Grove Motel. Everything's still wet though, buddy. Shoes are still wet. All the bags on the bikes are still wet. How it's wet. But the sun is out. Look at that. Look at that. What a lovely day for riding. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's unreal. <laughs> It'll start raining in three seconds. What's for lunch for? Packet of brown rice mixed in with a packet of peri peri tuna. It's pretty good. And on the menu for me tonight, today, <laughs> is a banana in a wrap <laughs> and some cream cheese in wraps. Actually, better than it sounds. Pretty good. Not together, separate. <laughs> Find Paul. Can't see him anywhere. It's beer, man. Good day. It's coming, men. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All right, time to set up camp. Morning, guys. Today's day 12. Today is the day we ride up past pass. This will be the steepest hill of the trip by far. Getting to the pointy end now. It is. Save the hardest to last. The hardest to last. Hardest to last. <laughs> <laughs> when 
nearing closer to the half pass. Kind of looking forward to it, but at the same time, kind of not. Kind of a bit worried. All the locals have warned us about it, saying how steep it is. Another cyclist told us we'd be walking up. But um, we'll see how we go. We've got some pretty low gears on our bikes. I reckon we can do it. Just come down to this look out spot. We'll check out this waterfall. Oh, it's not the smoothest of terrain. It's a bit bumpy. Hey, this is what we're riding towards. Pretty daunting. I don't know if you can see that. There's still snow on the top of that mountain. Middle of summer and there's still snow up there. Check out these mountains. Crazy. Right, I think this is finally it. This is the start of the Haas Pass climb. Ready for a pole? Ready! This looks like it's gonna be brutal. Still going. It's pretty steep. Whew. It's really hot too. Still climbing the Haas Pass. It's just flattened out a little bit. It's a good opportunity to have a drink, a few lollies. Nice waterfall there. I believe this is the official top of Haas Pass. We've got the Haas Pass the lookout viewing point over there. Now hopefully we get a nice downhill on the way down. And roll 82 k's into Wanaka. <laughs> get some burgers. Good day for it. Yeah. We're just cruising along. Not a worry in the world. Tailwind couldn't get any better. Then what happened, Paul? Then I heard a bang. <laughs> and the tire completely come off the rim. Unsure if he's got an actual hole in the tire or anything. I don't think so, but we'll have a look at it. We'll try and reseat it. If that doesn't work, then we'll go plan B and put a tube in. Well, that failed. Can't reseat the bead with the little pump. So now, plan B, rip the tire off again, clean the sealant out, and put a tube in. That's why you carry spares. Tube is in, pumped back up. But I think it's buckled. Something doesn't look quite right there. She's a bit wobbly. I think the rim is buckled. Look a bit sad there, Paul. It's happening. Ready to go. I just noticed I put the tire on backwards. We are back on the road. Back right in the spot where it happened, I reckon. going to be probably the best view I've ever seen whilst riding a bike. Amazing. Probably got less than 20 k's to go to Wanaka. It's going to be a long day. Quite a few big hills. The sun is extremely hot. But all in all, it's been an awesome day. Red Star Burgers. Reliable sources that tell me this best burger shop in New Zealand. Let's go find out. Oh, right. You weren't lying, Ben. They're some bloody good burgers. They're pretty good. <laughs> Morning guys, we just come out from the backpackers. We just gotta get some breakfast. Maybe go to a bike shop, get Paul's wheel sorted out. 
we are back at Red Star Burgers, round two. We're finally on the road, heading towards Queenstown. Very late start today, it's almost one o'clock. We had a few things to do, got Paul's wheel fix, got it all chewed up, nice. Just stop on the side of the road, get some cherries. Keep it going for the rest of the day's ride. Ooh, get some big hills today. Really running on empty too, after 150 k's yesterday. Whew. Now that was a big hill. I don't know whether it's just because I'm tired, but I reckon that was harder than Haas Pass. Probably be the final bridge of the trip. Man, have we done some bridges up all? <laughs> we have done our fair share of bridges. On the final sprint, the last leg, the pointy end, the finish line, we're getting there. Still going though, a couple of k's to go. That's rolling into Queenstown. Journey. The trip has finally come to an end at the front of the Queenstown Airport, ready to fly back to Melbourne. It's been 13 days, 1150 kilometres, and a hell of a lot of climbing, just a little over 12,000 metres elevation. Been a epic trip. Epic trip. So many good highlights. All Ghost Road is probably the best trail that I've ever ridden. Well, let's go check in and That's it. get on this plane. Do it. If you liked the video, please like, share, subscribe. Till the next one. Stay fat. <laughs> <laughs>